So, should she keep all four? Should she give them up? Beth was 38, single, and looking for a baby. Like thousands of other women out there, she wanted to have children, and she felt that time was running out for her. So, she went to a sperm bank. And then came the stunning news that she was having quadruplets. And our cameras followed Beth through her high-risk pregnancy. Take a look. Four months into her pregnancy with quadruplets, Beth is confined to her bed. She's only allowed to get up and go to the bathroom and to shower. I've been here for 80 days. I lay here every day, morning, noon, and night. Just standing up leaves Beth exhausted. I've been on bed rest for two and a half months. And have trouble just standing here and catching my breath. It's been a big change. Beth's pregnancy is extremely high risk because of her age and having multiples. Her entire life is now devoted to keeping her delicate babies healthy and thriving in her womb. Spending day after day lying in bed waiting to give birth gives Beth a lot of time to think about her uncertain future. For many months I laid here talking myself off the ceiling. What if I really can't do this? What if I won't be a good mother? What if I'm never able to make enough money? All of those things really weighed on me. So months of bed rest had weakened Beth's body. What would happen to all four babies? Toward the end of her pregnancy, Beth was hospitalized and being monitored round the clock. During that time, she received some frightening news. One of the babies had stopped growing and was in trouble. Beth needed an emergency C-section. Beth's babies were born two months premature. Twins, Luke and Kaysen, and a third boy, Barrett, were three and a half pounds each. And little Layla, a baby girl, weighed in at two pounds, five ounces. The babies stayed in the hospital under constant care until they were strong enough to go home. The first time Beth saw her newborns, she was overcome with emotion. It wasn't until they took me into the NICU that I got to see them all, and it was just so amazing. <laughs> they were just, um, I was so proud of them. They were so beautiful. After a long month in the hospital, two of the infants were finally ready to go home. OK, I don't know where we're going to put them now. <laughs> As a single mother, Beth started feeling the pressure of her new responsibilities right away. I mean, this was a lot more than I bargained for. The reality of bringing home babies three and four is shocking to me. I mean, it's a scary prospect. Two weeks later, baby Layla came home with three newborns in the house. Beth realized she was in over her head. I, I think it's about 9.15, 9.30. <laughs> Luke has woken up a little bit early. I haven't finished by 10. We'll just put Luke in this bouncy chair if he's not falling asleep while I'm feeding Kaysen or Layla. I have to pump so express milk for later. I should be able to sleep by 11.30 or 12. And I start again at 1.30. Finally, baby number four. Barrett joined his siblings at home. For Beth, the reality that she was now a single mother raising quadruplets set in. I can't remember who I just changed last. Being here 24 hours a day, this is like, this goes on nonstop. So what was the first night like with all four babies? And it's just you in the house? It's just you? It's just me in the house. I don't really remember the first night, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've been amazed at how incredibly good the babies have been to me. Mm -hmm. I've been working really hard to keep them on a schedule so that they would learn a pattern for living mm -hmm. that I could, uh, you know, manage. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.